Hey everyone, my name is Logan Kilpatrick and I'm the developer community advocate for the Julia programming language. In this video, we are going to build a number guessing game using Julia. Let's dive in. While building this number guessing game, we will explore a few concepts like functions, random numbers, and conditionals. These building blocks will allow us to build something fun and learn Julia from the ground up. To begin, we'll need to get familiar with generating a random number. As always, there are many ways to do something like this, but the most straightforward approach is to use the rand function. We will want to pass in a range of numbers for our random number to fall between. In this case, we want a number between 1 and 10. Let's generate a random number and assign it to a variable as well. Next, let's define our function, which will run the number guessing game using the keyword function. I'm going to name my function play number guess with underscores. All functions in Julia are closed using the end keyword. Now that we have our function, we need to generate the target number we will try to guess while playing the number guessing game. Let's create a range of numbers and then generate our random target number. Now that we have our function defined, we will want to create the while loop, which continues to prompt the user to take another guess at what the target number is. While loops start with the while keyword. They then close with the end keyword, just like in the case of functions. After the while keyword, you will put the condition for the loop. The loop will keep running so long as the condition is true. For our guessing game, as long as the user entered number is wrong, we will keep prompting them to guess a new number. This will go on forever. Inside the while loop is any code you want to run on each iteration through the loop. In our case, this will simply prompt the user to enter a new number each time through the loop, as you'll see in the next section. Now that we know the basics of while loops, let's create one for this game. We will define a variable called guess to store our initial guess and then create our while loop. Again, starting with the while keyword and then defining the condition we want in order for the loop to continue to run. In this case, we want the loop to continue so long as the user's guess is not equal to the target random number. The code my integrated development environment, or IDE, is prompting me to autocomplete this section with is close, but not exactly what we want. We'll start with a print statement telling the user to enter a number between one and the total numbers, which again, we set to 25 a few lines above. Next, we need a way to actually allow the user to input some number and let our program access it. We'll use the read line function, which allows the user to type in a single input. We wrap the user input in the parse function and specify that we want to convert the number to an int64, or more simply, we want the number as an actual integer and not as a string. Last, we add a function call at the bottom of the file so that the program will actually run when we run the file. And then we use a print statement to show the user that the correct number is guessed. We want the user to know if they got the guess wrong, so let's add in an if statement to check if they got the guess wrong and then tell them they need to guess again if it was wrong. The structure of the if statement is the same as the while loop we defined above. Now that we have all the code written, let's actually try playing the game. Let's copy and paste all the code into the Julia REPL and then run the play number guess function. And you can see we're automatically prompted to enter in some specific number. 
So let's try a bunch of guesses. And there we go, we got it. The number was 14. That's as simple as it is. That was awesome. We just finished writing and playing our new number guessing game. As you learned, you might have been thinking of other ways to make the game more fun or more complicated. I encourage you to try those out and share what you build. To summarize, we learned how to define and use functions. We learned what the structure of an if and while loop looks like, as well as how to use random numbers, and hopefully had a little bit of fun while doing so. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.